Imagine you're walking down the street with your child in your hand. A police officer comes up to you and says, hey, hey, that child doesn't look like you at all. That can't be your child. And then just grabs the child and takes him away. That, in fact, is what has happened uh, this last week. Roma children being taken away simply because they had blonde hair. And according to the, the Pat stereotype, they, they could not be Roma as such. The Roma are the scapegoats for every wrong that takes place and are, are the ones to blame when there is a problem. And the, the people are ready to believe anything about Roma um, that is criminal precisely because the prejudices against them run so deep or so deeply embedded uh, in many European societies. These cases now that have been reported in the media are rising in the context of a, uh, a surge in uh, in anti-Roma violence uh, in a number of countries. We've seen uh, mobs um, going into neighborhoods and, uh, and threatening action, and in some cases engaging in violence from uh, the Czech Republic to Slovakia to Hungary. When people are suffering uh, the effects of austerity and, uh, and economic deprivation, it is very easy for them to turn their blame to the least powerful members of their communities. And unfortunately, um, we've seen political leaders all too willing to fuel those prejudices and fuel that diverting of attention toward the Roma simply because one can. The challenge is for, for people in these societies to see that what is happening to Roma could happen to them. And what is needed is for leaders of government, leaders of European institutions to stand up and say, ladies and gentlemen, Roma belong here just like everyone else. We are all part of the same society. We are all free and equal. We all have the same rights and the same entitlement to dignity. It's time for us to get serious about policies that include Roma and advance Roma in education, in the economy, in healthcare, in every aspect of public life.